Welcome to this edition of Psychic Medium Tony G. I've been a psychic medium and a channel for as long as I can remember. As a child, information would just come through me for others, and I never really let go of that gift. I call it a gift, but it's just something each and every one of us is born with. And as we're born with it, we can even either keep it and keep using it, or we can shut it down, but we never completely get rid of it. It's a gift that is inside of each and every one of us, and at several moments in our lifetime, we'll have those intuitive moments where we just knew something was going to happen, we knew we should go this way instead of that way, we just had this knowing. Well, that's the life I live every day with that knowing. And today, I have Rebecca here, and mm -hmm. she's going to receive a reading and connect with some loved ones on the other side. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, Tony. Thank you for being on my show. Thank it's such you an for honor to me. Yeah, of I'm course. excited. <laughs> me too. So, Rebecca, this often happens when I am doing this show loved ones from the other side step in and they let me know even before the show starts so you helped me to be able to say this appropriately but your abuela mm -hmm. is here and she keeps saying it that way <laughs> abuela abuela and i couldn't say it at first so i had to ask you like what is this and what does this mean and you said oh it's it's grandmother mm -hmm. so your grandma's here hey, grandma. and <laughs> she, the first thing she wants you to know is she's saying um I, she is calling you something like, I, I can tell her English was not strong because most of the words that she's using are very broken, mm -hmm. is the way I would say it. But mm -hmm. she's calling you like, she's, she's saying, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, and mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, uh, like uh, grabbing your face and kissing it and then kissing it and then saying, uh, calling you like a uh, chi chi or a chi chi or something like that. And just like wanting to grab you and hold hold you, and she's showing me as a as a very young child, she used to just smother you in with all of her strength. <laughs> and so she is here, and that is the first message that she wants to give you. And she's saying she has so much wisdom she wants to impart on you. She's letting you know that um, you need to go back into meditating. Mm. I've been doing it every day. And she is saying that you need to shut up here and open up here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That Get sounds... out of your head. <laughs> exactly. And that, that is so true for all of us. When we go into that state where we start to go into that mm -hmm. place where we're trying to be at peace and not, we just let all those things run through our head every day. And she's saying uh, the moment you get there and you've been there before, where you're like, oh, I'm the observer. It's so peaceful. What's going on? She says she's going to flood you with messages that uh, the answers to the questions that you have been asking. Now, the first thing she wants to tell you is there are many, 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 many changes coming in for you. And she is, um, this is the funniest thing. She is showing me the word a la carte, a la carte, a la carte. I don't know why. And she is also showing me a vendor's cart, like a street corner vendor's cart with food in it. But she is saying a la carte, a la carte. So there are going to be many, okay, there are going to be many choices coming in that you get to choose and pick what you want mm. and what you don't. Mm. That is awesome. Who doesn't want that? Everybody <laughs> wants that. 
But she's saying you you need to be a uh, particular mm -hmm. and don't don't finny fanny around with it. Um, don't don't let your oh but am I taking too much oh but <laughs> don't let that get in the way just really think about what you really want and go for it she's saying have no fe have no fear <laughs> she's saying have no fear go for the the gusto the interest I've had some individuals propose things like you need to do this and I'm just like I'm like, no, let's not focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to completely be changing that perspective now. You are going to completely change that perspective, and you are going to be moving into a thing of, not only do I want to do this, but I want this, too. Mm -hmm. You're ready. You've gone through a lot of uh, steps in the healing process, and you're in a transition stage, and this transition stage is going to be one of the biggest transitional stages um, of your adult life, it is going to take you to where you want to be as long as you pay attention and you follow it. Okay. Don't concede. Don't concede. So she's doing the finger. Don't concede. Don't concede. Um, I see that uh, now. Before I go any further and just monopolize this whole time, I want. I, I it's very important to me. I know people come. They have questions about love, about career, about all different things. And I want to make sure I answer all of your questions. Okay. So please, if you, uh, what's your first question that you have? Well, there are people who have actually asked, am I, you know, what are you running for? And I'm like, at first I was like, what? <laughs> Me? <laughs> who? <laughs> um, and I never really got into politics before, but I've been supporting and, and doing things for the community um, very strongly more in the political realm the past year um, over a year so I don't I don't know if I should actually go that way or not um, you know I can understand why they're where they're coming from but then a part of me is like I don't know <laughs> if I'd want to do that okay so right now you're getting your what they call sea legs and this is not the appropriate time yet. You will, okay? But you're going to have a very, very difficult time with it because politics is all about negotiation and give and take. Mm -hmm. And you're such a straightforward... Transparent. <laughs> this is the way it needs to be done and F everything else. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you this so I can get this because that's not appropriate. Um, it'll be a little frustrating for you. But I do see you making that step and moving forward in that area. Once you get in there, you're gonna say, what did I get myself into? I feel that way already. <laughs> what did I do here? But keep your, they're saying you just, you need to keep your eye on the prize and the real reason why you're there. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught well, up in the- it's for the community, it's for the people. Don't get caught up in the quagmire of it. Right. Don't get caught up in the other stuff of the BS of it. Mm -hmm. Keep yourself clear and be strong. And they're saying remain independent. Right. So in politics, Trust independent me, means something completely yes. different than it does in life. So they're saying make sure you... That oh, no. Yeah. Progressive all the way. But I think when you said something about with the a la carte and stay and being particular... It made me think is when people were saying, well, what about this position, this person? And I'm like, no, I have to really understand. I said, I'm the type of person I need to understand exactly what that means. Correct. And what that role is and what, my, what I can and can't do within, and, within that role and to make sure it's fitting for me right. before I do it. And then I was also thinking when the a la carte part, I'm like, well, there's still a part of me that's like, I would love to still get over it and just start writing and write that book um, because I've gone through such a journey and, you know, made it to where I am where others didn't believe I'd get to where I am. Exactly. And I didn't have any handouts or help. I did it on my own. Um, so I, I accomplished and over, you know, got over, overcame a lot of situations in a healthy way. 
um, to allow me to be where I'm at. Um, so that's where I was thinking the a la carte type of thing because I still love my massage, doing my massage as well. Right. And so there are all these little pieces I don't want to necessarily give up either. Right. And I, I'm just getting that you won't have to give them up. You'll be able to work with everything, but there are certain things that will be on hold for a little bit of time, and then you'll pick them up again later. My or massage else. has been slow this year, yeah. and I'm wondering if that's... It'll pick up. Okay. It'll pick up. But you're going to have bigger, better things that you're working on within six months. You're going to have a lot of really very productive projects that you're going to be heading up. You might not know what, and, and of course, I need to say this is a choice. I can give you mm -hmm. this message, but you're the one who has to do the footwork right. on it. When Absolutely. those opportunities come up. It's either you take them or you don't. Exactly, exactly. And there are going to be some opportunities uh, being presented to you that allow you to make a choice to exact change, not only for yourself, but others, mm -hmm. but for a lot of others. Um, you're going to be meeting some... Mm, I haven't been going anywhere. Where am I going to meet them? <laughs> this is crazy. Because my other question um, is, am I going to date again? Well, wait, let me finish this. I am literally seeing, um, and I don't know... Do I, I don't know how you feel about this person, but I'm literally seeing Bernie Sanders. Like that you I met Bernie Sanders. Okay, so maybe that's the confirmation. <laughs> I feel like you're I've been going on stage with Bernie Sanders. Yes, I feel like you are going to and I did I had no idea of that. I feel like you're there's going to be another meeting of you two and a and and an actual like a conversation. You're gonna be able to ask him a few questions oh. about where he not just shake his uh, hand and stare at him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. So I feel like that's going to be coming in again, not, not, not really quickly, but, but sooner than you think. And for a very, uh, in an uh, unexpected, almost surprise sort of way, that's going to be coming in again, okay? So let's go to the love part of your life. So I have not ever done online dating. I never played with the abs. <laughs> like I tried it with my friend. She showed me. And we, you know, and I'm just like, this is too much. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. And like, uh, it's and a whole nother job to like yeah, be online dating. I, it, it's kind of weird. Um, you know, and then now I, I want to meet, you know, obviously a, a quality person, sane. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. all that good stuff. Healthy, happy. Healthy. Available, emotionally available, yeah. But I want it to be real and organic. Um, so I don't know. So I do feel like I'm hearing three months that within the three month mark, you are going to have a couple of new people coming in. Okay, so it's not going to be just one particular person that comes in and this is it. And often this happens. Okay, uh, because we are a uh, this is a plane of creation, and when we start asking for what we want, we get it, but we might get this, and are you willing to settle? Right. And then, then the next person has this, but are you willing to settle? And if you can keep going, I, I, oh, this Pass message that. means so much to me at this time, too. <laughs> if you can keep going, you can get everything you ask for. So within the next three months, there's actually going to be five or six people that you are going to meet. Five now, or six. <laughs> now, not all of them are going to be that complete connection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You might just have coffee with one of them okay. or like a, a nice lunch with one of them. Um, but I do feel like there is the potential for several people to come in and... Um, for you to meet them and understand more about what you're truly looking for. You're also going through a period where you're letting go of all the things from past relationships. So as you do, every time you let go of something else from a past relationship, a better man is coming in. Mm -hmm. That is true. And so now they're showing me like through these. Like getting an upgrade. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that that is better. Yeah. Here's the Pinto. Yeah. Here's the Mustang. I did, my last relationship, I mean, he just wasn't ready. 
Yeah. Um, but but that means that but there's I, a part of you was, that's not ready also. It was good. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was a connection and it was good. Yeah. So, and again, like they're saying, here's the Pinto, here's the Mustang, and here's the Ferrari. <laughs> What do you want? Yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So having said that, just be prepared. And they're saying, you know, again, they're showing the a la carte and don't settle. If you know what you want, don't say, well, this is good in this area. Yeah. Say, I've come too far. I've worked too hard. I want it all. And you can have it all. That's right? what I put on there. Uh, on my mirror right now, it says, I am enough. See? I exactly. Am worthy, right? Exactly. And so many women don't feel that way. They don't feel like they feel like they need to do more, right. be more. Well, that's why I had to write it on the mirror. <laughs> yeah, I am enough. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Get it in your head. <laughs> By the end of the five month mark, all things going the way I see them right now, you are going to be in a very solid, loving relationship with somebody who is going to be significant in your life. Nice. Now, they're saying over the next three months, I feel like you might meet this person around that three, four-month mark, but it won't be as, like, solid until around that five-month mark. And that makes perfect sense to me because when we first meet somebody, we're just talking and, you know, having coffees and getting to know each other and getting rid of their representative and getting to the real person, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So around that five-month mark, you should definitely be in, given the fact that you choose to, and you can let go of the other people quickly enough, you'll be in this very solid, good, healthy relationship. Yeah, I pretty much I'll go of them anyway. <laughs> yeah, be gone with you. <laughs> I only talk to one, sort of. So, but there are several coming in, so you'll have to... Weed through it. Yeah, and realize, you know, you're worth all that you want and it's okay to get what you want mm -hmm. to have it all so. exactly i like it i like it any questions about that nope okay next subject uh well with learning spanish okay and i work a lot with the community um they all expect i have some friends and family that sometimes forget <laughs> um, <laughs> and i've been trying but it's 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 been challenging yeah, you have a block. Um, it's almost like, it, you know, there's a spiritual, psychological, mental. It's a mental block that is saying, um, this is very bizarre, but um, it is saying, uh, even though Spanish was your first language and you do know it, there is, it's twofold. There is a fear with speaking it, mm -hmm. but the, on top of that, for some reason, and, and this is the term that they're giving me, it's been pounded into you that English makes you more elevated. Mm -hmm. It makes you better. Like, oh, I speak English, now I'm, I'm acceptable. Now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, like... Uh, uh, that was that individual who told me that. Um, I know he cared, but he was had a whole lot of stuff. Don't that, we all? Yeah, yeah, his was really bad. But, yeah. Um, and he's no longer here, but he, eventually he adopted me, um, but he didn't allow me to speak. Yeah. So that is where this is coming from, and it actually is so entrenched in you that the statement second-class citizen. Mm. Okay, now you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me cry? Oh, I don't have a pretty cry face. <laughs> um, second-class citizen is coming up and there's so much hurt and just devastation with that comment and wanted you to be like more of a <clears throat> First, first class mm -hmm. citizen, and letting go of that. He did it in a really horrible way, but I understood. Yeah. Not it, then, but ex I get it now. Of course not. You were such a little child. How could no, you? But no, even as a teenager, he did things and said things that were horrible. But, I, but he did it thinking it's going to make me, 
he always did these things to think, thinking he was going to make me tougher and stronger. Well, that's the world he came from. Our people who take care of us prepare us for the world they came from, not for the world we're going into. Right. And hurt people hurt people. Right. But soon, very soon, as a matter of fact, you're going to be uh, healing that. And you and I can talk about that. Mm -hmm. I can get let's rid of do it. that. Like, let's go. do that. <laughs> Done. Gone. You're out of here. <laughs> so that, again, letting go of that, which we can do. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Um, we go. can do that. And we'll, you'll then start to get it back bit by bit. Okay? You are really just afraid to use it right now. So fear is the biggest blocker that we have. So we'll get, we'll mm -hmm. work on And I have that. a friend who said she's willing to help me learn. Good. I think we need to, even if you, even if you, you do fluently know the language inside of you, but you have to release the fear before mm -hmm. you'll let it come out of you. Mm -hmm. Makes you sense. don't want, nobody wants anybody to think less of them. And when you use that language, you were taught that people will think less of you. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to get, get, erase that program. We just have to erase that program. Right. Okay. So does that help with that? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Good. Excellent. What's your next question? Mm. Ah, health why? I, because this, in, Injury, it's like this actually feels a little better today, right now. I'm like, hmm, maybe just awesome. being here. But I wasn't allowed to lift weights and I was really getting into it and loving it and loving to. I liked being strong. Me too. <laughs> getting back to doing my chin ups and, yeah. you know, I haven't been able to get back to doing 10 in a row for two sets. Um, and I just, I haven't lifted all year and I just started running and I've, the body is just. I have a new chiropractor, so I'm, I'm working with somebody else to to get me realigned, and that's helping. Um, I'm getting impatient, though, because not running and exercising like I was, it keeps me off balance, okay. and I can, I can feel it. Um, and I know running once a week isn't enough. I can just tell that my, my body like needs more. Yeah. So the one thing they want to say is, um, and this is, about your, this is an analogy for your whole life, but not only your shoulder. Don't let one little thing take you out of the game. Okay, you can't do this. You can do all this. Right, right. You know, you can do all this. That's why I started running. So even doing like uh, just maintaining strength in, in your lower body and all the way up to like your core is very, very, very important so that if you're missing this, you're not missing the rest of it. But because of some things from your childhood, one thing takes you out of the game. And it's not, it's, it's not the way you would have designed it, and it's not the way you would have chosen it, but it's the way it happened. It's that, again, program that was, this happened, mm -hmm. and it just, it almost created like a, 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 a beehive around mm -hmm. you and you peek out so when something goes wrong you're right back in that beehive and we have to we have to destroy the beehive mm -hmm. um, because although you are a queen bee <laughs> <laughs> it does no good to hide in the hive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I feel like part of this is knowing and allowing yourself to be strong in every area possible and don't worry about the one that isn't. Mm -hmm. So like even when things happen at work, if one thing happens in this area, it takes you down in all your areas. So just working through that, they're saying, and knowing that uh, once you ignore that area and say, okay, I'm gonna let you be, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it everything over I've everywhere. I've started doing that this past Good. couple of weeks. That's the Changing most- Changing my game. That is the most important thing they want you to know and move forward mm -hmm. with. Absolutely. It's so imperative for you. Mm -hmm. Because then, once you can do that, these little, like the little shoulder thing, which is not little, won't come up. The work thing won't come up because you'll be 
so strong, mm -hmm. independent of that. I think that. too, it's it's because I don't have my own place. It's just it's starting to frustrate me. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I do feel like there is going to be two moves for you coming in. One is definitely a, a, a home-wise. You'll be moving to a new place home-wise. Don't go too quickly and don't go out on your own. Mm. Right? Mm. So wait like five months? <laughs> Right around six. <laughs> I'm feeling right around that six months. There might be a merging. Okay. Um, also, um, there's another move coming in, and I feel like this is a move in the air. Uh, in a, it's a financial move. It's a move with money that is going to make you very, very, very happy. It's going to bring a lot of, like uh, the word that's coming in, a lot of credit to you. A lot of awesome. um, credit and uh, pr like you're going to feel more prestigious mm -hmm. with this move. So be prepared nice. for that. Because I have been more conscious of my spending and what I'm doing and investing yeah. um, so that I can, so I'm set up to do, do it the right way instead of just taking this time and doing nothing about it. Absolutely. That, and that's the best way to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So... As we close out the show, I can't believe it's it's already coming to an end, but your abuela... Oh, I said it right. <laughs> How about that? Your abuela wants to say that she wants you to know that... Uh, she wants you to know that she loves you very, very much, and she has um, many gifts for you coming in, many gifts coming for you in, many, many gifts coming in, and she wants you to take these gifts with no thought of anything else. Just take all of the gifts that and, she's and bringing. Maybe she could help me uh, deal more with my mother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind that. Don't worry about that. Okay. You just you just work on me. Be on you. Be all on right. you. Be on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Rebecca, again. Um, oh, and, and she loves you very much. Oh, and I um, love her, too. And Te quiero mucho. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she did it at the same time you said that. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Tony. And, and it's such an honor, Rebecca, to have you here with us. And thank you for joining us here today. I hope this was enlightening for you as well. Thank you, and until next time, have an amazing day. <laughs>